Tiffany at Historic Indianapolis, and I am down in the famous catacombs with Stevie Stotes of the City Market. Thank you so much for having us. Thanks for coming. And I just wanted to ask you a few questions. People always say, ooh, the catacombs, the catacombs. I want to see the catacombs. How do you get such good word of mouth, and why is this so famous? Oh, I think it's famous, and it's, it's good word of mouth because it's such an underground kind of hidden secret, hidden gem of the city. Mm -hmm. um, it actually served as the basement, as you know, to Tomlinson Hall, uh, starting in 1885. So people want to see it because there's a mystery. There's a mystery to the catacombs and what's down here and what might be down here and what might have been down here. Right. So it's just kind of an underground, mysterious, um, cavernous space that people kind of want to check out. Right, yeah, it is a really cool space. So I'm curious, um, I think there's, is there a plan going on right now to explore what you might do with this in the future? We are working with um, a local architect who put together a request for proposal to try to get thoughts and ideas and cost estimates for what could be um, down here in, in this great space. We've had everything from, you know, ideas of nightclubs and speakeasies and restaurants and any number of things down here. Yeah, I think that would be really fun down here. Yeah. And I know when you've taken me on this tour before, but I wanted to, um, you to share with people what these interesting marks are. Well, I find this fascinating because if you think about the timing and we're talking, you know, 1880s now, um, this is Bedford limestone, so this is Southern Indiana limestone that they blew out of the quarries um, and you can still see the explosion marks in this limestone. And when you think about how it boggles the mind, just getting these massive pieces of limestone from southern Indiana onto a horse and buggy to a train station to downtown Indianapolis on another horse and buggy to bring over to, yeah. you know, the city center. We have 20,000 square feet. If you'd like to see a portion of it, it'll take us a minute. Yeah, all right, let's do it. It's so interesting the way you look on a diagonal and you can see all the way through. You look straight this way or that way, you can see all the way through. It's exactly. really and you run on to this. And yeah. Like, what in the world? Um, but again, just to give you a marker, this is Market Street. We are basically coming up to Market Street here and on this side, Delaware. So what we're looking at here are some historical photographs of not only City Market but also Tomlinson Hall. Um, this one, of course, you can see a bustling Market Street, um, the front of Tomlinson Hall here, uh, the Indianapolis City Market, and on the other side of the Market House was the Market Shed. Um, you look down the bustling Market Street and you see Taggart's Bread, which is where Wonder Bread was developed. Very cool. So again, just great old photographs showing a bustling marketplace. Um, you can see in this one, actually, the Market Shed. Um, this predates the car because you've got the obligatory pooper scooper right down here <laughs> and all of the horses and buggies and umbrellas to shade them from the sun. Um, the old courthouse lawn here. Um, so the market shed, city market itself, um, which still remains, is kind of obscured by this tree a little bit, but this majestic building is Tomlinson Hall. So. What is coming up um, in the near future? You got anything on deck? City Market? Yeah. Absolutely. Always have things on deck. <laughs> we have um, St. Patty's Day is coming up, so we're doing a big celebration, including live music and face painting and themed specials at all the stands. And of course, Thomas and Tap Room will be open. Um, we're in the parade, mm -hmm. which is Friday this year, which is fun. Um, the 15th annual original Farmer's Market. Echoes in history. I love it. Thanks so much for the oh, tour. Okay.